Hey guys, it's Molly. This is the finale. I am doing the silver base tonight. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I made like a pewter silver color. It's beautiful. That's going to be my base. I'm going to use the same rainbow colors again. And at the end, I show you guys all of the paintings together. I cannot wait. And then I'm going to show you um, a combination of the black and the silver. Be sure you let me know which one you like the best. And I, I think I'll kind of like talk through it at the end and we'll see what we come up with. Make sure you drop your comments below and let me know what you guys think of the series. I'm so appreciative to all of you. If you're new, this is my art channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, the notification bell. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let's paint. And so as they say, all good things must come to an end. So I believe this is going to be the last in my rainbow series for now. Who knows, may come back out with something else. This is a color, so I did not have any more of the original Soho. So I had some creative inspirations, but I know that sometimes that does not react well with just paint and water. So I added a little bit of black and a little bit of a different color silver from Amsterdam. And I got this really pretty, like almost stainless steel pewter uh, color. So that is what I'm using for the base. And I'm gonna blow this out. Okay, so even if you guys did not do them with me, a lot of you followed along, you had comments and suggestions along the way. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for that. It made it so much fun and interactive. My next series, I believe, will be, and you guys know I don't do them like video after video, so. Um, this one could take me a long time to do, but it's going to be, um, I think, movies. Now, I could be shooting myself in the foot here um, because a lot of people have a lot of their own ideas about movies and things, but sorry, just trying to get my edges covered. All right, let me just blow this out. I will worry about the rest later. Um, so movies can be kind of difficult, right? So everybody has a thought of what they think of for a certain movie. So I'm going to be doing my interpretation of them. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this so that I don't take up too much of anybody's time. I could paint or watch painting all day, but I know you guys have lives, right? So, I don't want to do too much, and I want this one to be a colorful blowout like the other ones were. So, I'm just going to, whoops, I did a lot there. A lot there, Molly. I really love the combination of blue and orange together, so I'm going to put a little bit of a dot right there as well. So, here's my other blue. Ooh! <laughs> okay, that was a lot. <laughs> Couldn't get past it before I completely messed it up, huh? All right, here we go. Almost there. And if you guys, again, if you always have ideas of new things that you want me to try or do, just tell me. Shoot me a message or put it below the video. Give me a comment and say, man, I'd really like to see you try this. Challenge me. I'm up for it. Okay, definitely, it's too much paint, too much paint, Molly. Okay, here we go. I just love the rainbow colors, so uh, And you can see, see how this one's a little bit lighter? That silver is just a little bit lighter, but we'll see how it does. Okay, I'm just gonna blow straight out. Ooh, pretty.
trying to get kind of fancy with my uh, with my blow dryer work there. I just ended up blowing it off of all corners, but I kind of like it this way. This one little part up here, maybe I'll try. <sighs> so I, <laughs> you guys know, I, I don't know what's high and what's low on my blow dryer. And I thought I was the only one, but I was giving a, a video lesson to this lovely lady and she kept doing the same thing. And I was just dying laughing because I've been there, done that. I do it every single time I turn my blow dryer on. I'm like, you, you would think I would know by now, right? I really am enjoying this. Um, it's going off of each side. Some people would say meh on composition, but I think this is really, really cool. I'm going to torch the middle. Let's see if anything comes up in there. I think that is super cool. I'll wait till it dries. I'll put it up next to the um, black base and see which one actually fits into the um, the series. But I think that's a pretty cool painting. All right, let me show you. I think this one's so cool. Really, I think it is super neat. All those cells, this is really, really awesome. That's where I torched in the center. How crazy is that? Oh, this is really neat too. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. I'll show you guys the dried results. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. So look at that. It almost looks like, like a alcohol ink or a watercolor or something. And the silver is just so, that, that pewter color that I made, it's just gorgeous with the lighter silver over top. I mean, really, really stunning. So I don't know which one, you guys. Okay, hang on just a second, and I'm going to put the black up next to it, and you guys can let me know. Okay, which one do you think fits? I have no idea because they're both gorgeous. Some people had said maybe have the black and the white as the book ends. I'm going to rearrange them in just a second so you guys can check out that as well, but... I don't know, I like them both. As well, you guys let me know if any of you were interested in one of these pieces, I was gonna sell them as a set, um, but I don't have a way to showcase them. You know, I, I, we don't have any shows right now, so if any of you wanted to buy any singles, if you can let me know, and if I have enough, I'll sell them separately. I know a couple people had requested on the blues and on the red, so there's each one. Here's my little swan, the violet, the black, the silver, and I still have my little uh, hooker's green one I did too. So you guys let me know, what do you think, black or silver, or just sell them separately? <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to arrange them, rearrange them, so if you guys stick around, I'll be right back. I mean, I feel like I could be here all day doing this. <laughs> but I like this. It gives like some dimension to it. The darker ones spread out, the red and the orange spread out, the green. So I don't know. And that looks, that's the, uh, the indigo. That looks black on camera. And so does the violet. But those are all separate colors. Oh, I love them. Okay, so one more time, I'm gonna switch out the black for the silver. Hold. Okay, there's the last, the last of the go there. All right, so let me know which do you like? 
What position do you like? And do you guys want to purchase them separately? Or should I leave them together and just try for it later? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for following along with me. I learned so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all to pieces. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.